Welcome back, everyone. Next up, we have Globex Data Limited. It trades on the OTCQB under the symbol SWISF and on the CSE under the symbol SWIS and is a cybersecurity and internet privacy provider of Swiss-hosted solutions for secure communications and secure data management. Please welcome its CEO and founder, Elaine Guy. Welcome, Elaine. Uh, thanks, Anna. Thanks, everyone, for uh, being here. Um, so, yes, yeah, so Globex Data is a Swiss uh, company originally. We spun off a public company in North America essentially to grow globally. What we do is we've been doing for the past 10 year communication suites, such as secure and private email, messenger, document management, and so forth. I'm going to um, have um, uh, emerging growth play a video right now, which is an introduction to what we do. It's a 60 second commercial. And then I'm going to go over, uh, we only have about four slides. So it'll be a, a very concise presentation and hopefully uh, we'll have some question and answer. So uh, go ahead now and please uh, play the video. Secure, the true solution for your digital privacy and security. Secure is a private and secure messaging and email solution hosted in Switzerland using military-grade encryption and Swiss privacy laws, giving you true privacy. Secure is 100% private and does not collect or sell any of your personal data. Secure's Helix technology connects you securely to our Swiss servers without the need of a VPN, guaranteeing privacy and security for all your communications. Secure Messenger doesn't require your phone number or any personal data that hackers target. Chat by Invites allows you to chat privately and securely with anyone outside of your secure network without the need for others to download Secure. Secure Send offers you a private and secure way to email anyone outside of Secure. You won't find this level of privacy or security on any other email or instant messaging application. Visit secure.com. Regain and protect your privacy today. Uh, great. So uh, hopefully um, we're back to my slides. Uh, can somebody confirm that you see the first slide here? Yep, you're good. Okay, great. So um, Globex Data has a, has a global presence. Uh, we're based out of uh, Toronto and New York. We also have offices in Mexico City. Uh, and and uh, we have a big partnership in South Asia, in Sri Lanka. And of course, our data centers uh, and our uh, partners are in Switzerland, obviously the parent, the, the, the main company that started this. So what we do is we have several products, but essentially the essence is that we are uh, privacy specialists. So whether you use an email, uh, uh, one of these you know, free application to message or even voice and video, which we're launching soon, now, most of the companies, well, 99.99% uh, of them use uh, the big tech uh, cloud companies, uh, such as like Amazon Web Service, Microsoft, Azure Cloud, Google, and so forth. And even applications such as Signal, for example, use AWS. So there's different uh, legal requirement. Uh, there's no privacy because they're compliant uh, to the Cloud Act of 2018, which says that even, let's say, uh, if they have servers in Switzerland, which they do at Amazon uh, and Microsoft, because it serves so many countries, that data can still be subpoenaed in the US. Whereas because we are completely independent uh, of any of these uh, third party cloud providers, and we're only in Switzerland, we have a much stricter data privacy law that we can comply to, which is a Swiss data privacy laws. Uh, so we also have our own proprietary technology uh, we don't do all these API integration or use open source coding, uh, which has a lot of flaws now because you have a lot of hackers um, posing as uh, as uh, developers that basically come in and hack all the code, and that's how people get hacked all the time. Uh, we have several solutions, Secure Mail, uh, which is an email-only platform, which we just launched not too long ago, Secure, which is uh, a combo of email and messaging, and the Secure Messenger, which is a messenger only, um, secure mail for consumers is seven bucks a month for a hundred gig. The messenger is only five. A couple of weeks ago, we just launched business services. So you're able to have your domain name hosted with us. If you have a business 
uh, you can be, you know, uh, bail at mycompany.com and hosted with us in Switzerland and also take advantage of our technology, which is we have a couple of unique things. One of them is a secure send feature, which lets you send an email to a non-secure user. And that person, even if they have Gmail or anything like that, they're able to get an email with a notification to click on a link. And then uh, the whole communication now resides only in our Swiss server. They can read your email, they can download a lot of attachments who have no limit, and they can use secure reply even if they don't have secure. So for businesses, if you're in financial, legal, medical, or any other industries, and you send emails with sensitive information, like in a mortgage broker industry, for example, or real estate, you're able to communicate with your client and they can reply right back without having to register to anything, having to create a fancy password and download anything. So it gives them the protection and privacy as well as you. And that whole communication resides in our server, as opposed to all the other technology when the emails and internet uh, connection goes all over uh, the open internet. That's why you hear about phishing, you hear about emails being changed in mid-course while wire transfers are being sent. So banks have this problem, they often get an email from a client uh, to wire money, but it goes to the wrong account because that email got um, hacked in between and a hacker makes sure that the money goes to their account and not the account that's supposed to go to. So there's a ton of stories like that. But essentially, that's what we do. The secure messenger, another great thing is we have something called chat by invite. So first of all, we don't require your phone number. So you have full anonymity. Um, if you go and you try one of these secure applications or on secure, whichever one, they always ask for your phone number if you use WhatsApp or Signal or any other application. And that's how hackers get in. Whereas with us, you register with a username and a password. We have this thing called a secure number, and you can give that to somebody who has secure, and they can ask to be uh, part of your address book. They still have to be vetted and accepted by you, so people can't just, you know, bully themselves into your phone, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of good privacy feature, many ways to vet who you want to have in your address book. But let's say you want to message someone who doesn't have secure, um, you're able to do it by inviting them through an email notification or through a text, SMS. So I'd email, I'd text someone, you know, I go to John and I say, hey, uh, John Alain is inviting you for a chat. And then John clicks on his link and it opens a closed portal and I can chat with John even though he doesn't have secure. This is unique in the world. And again, great for businesses as well. Um, secure suite here is our um, document management password and email solution for businesses. Uh, we're tweaking it up a little bit in the last quarter of the year to go to enterprises. Uh, we already have customers on Secure Suite, but the real big uh, um, star product is Secure with our email and messenger. And then Secure Voice and Secure Pro are two solutions we're launching this summer. One is an encrypted voice uh, system. The other one is like a Zoom. It's a voice and video. Next year, we plan to launch Secure Identity which is an identity theft protection tool. And then we have Secure Home, which uh, when we do something with home security. Uh, so those are kind of the product range that we have today. The market in the US especially is very large. We have an addressable market of 70 million consumers, 30 million small businesses um, with, uh, you know, with security uh, phishing accidents, basically 80% uh, of the hacks out there and 94% of hacks start with email. Um, we have, you know, quite a quite a good market to address. You know, we want to go after a portion of that 70 million uh, people, which are more uh, privacy sensitive, um, and they just don't want to have their data mined by the big tech companies anymore. They're getting tired of it. Uh, the market in the U.S. for cybersecurity is about 58 billion. That's this year. The global market. Uh, uh, it's now about uh, 140 billion. It's moving to 180 billion almost in the next four or five years. So the, the, there's definitely a big market there. Uh, we do have two partnerships, one in Mexico and Latin America with a company called America Mobile, which is the largest telecom operator in Latin America. It belongs to Carlos Slim. Some people might know who he is, one of the richest uh, person in the world. And... Um, 
They have about 270 plus million subscribers. And then we just signed a partnership with Axiata, which is the largest South Asian telecom operator out there. And uh, we're going to start with Sri Lanka. They'll be more into Q2, Q3. So these emerging markets are also discovering that there are security issues, obviously, and they don't want to use WhatsApp for messaging people anymore. And the governments also have problems. In fact, that's why we get government contracts in Latin America. Uh, we're probably going to get our second government contract soon. We have distributors in Colombia as well. Uh, we're starting in Q2. We're distributing with them. So there's definitely a big demand. Our solution comes in English and Spanish. We're going to do German soon. So it's going to be exciting. Definitely a big market to seize. Um, in terms of the 2022 our roadmap, well, we basically started to launch Secure in late July of last year. We did announce yesterday a news. Uh, if you check on your Yahoo Finance or whatever news you use, uh, we did grow at 5,600% uh, year over year in Q1 compared to Q1 of this year. Our Q1 2022 subscription growth is 1,900% compared to Q1 2021. And um, uh, basically, we are within about five, five, six months of operational profitability, which is pretty amazing uh, considering we just started. We have no debt. And we have about 7 million Canadian in the bank. That's about 5.6 million US. And we have plenty of uh, cash to do our runway. We also uh, had our audited financials released two months early. And in the financial, they do disclose that we have plenty of cash for the next 12 months. So we don't have this going concern uh, warning on our financial. That's very unusual for a small cap. Um, we plan to have an uplisting on the OTCQX. Uh, soon enough, we qualify already. This is something that's going to happen in the next eight weeks. And uh, we do have uh, engaged with an investment bank to file a listing on the NASDAQ uh, exchange. So, you know, whenever that happens, that happens. But we, we just signed an engagement letter with the bank uh, to do so. In Q2, we plan to have our email application launched uh, because right now, you have the email, but you have to configure on your phone. Whereas uh, in probably by the end of May, we will have a full email application, which will make it extremely ubiquitous and easy for people to sign up, download the app, and then boom, you can email and you can use that secure send feature from the email application as opposed to having to do it from webmail. So imagine if you use any kind of email like Gmail or what have you, you just use it from your phone. It'll be the same thing with secure mail. Uh, we already have a, a big list of people waiting for that. I think our subscription rate is going to increase uh, significantly once we release that. It's in beta mode right now. We're tw tweaking a few things. Uh, we also obviously are going to launch in Latin America and South Asia uh, starting the month of May. We already have started in Latin America with America Mobile, Telcel being the mobile operator in Mexico. But I think in May, June and forward, the pace will accelerate. Um, we also have the secure voice and secure video launching in Q3. And we also have a couple of B2B partnerships. One of them is a platform that is feeding us lead generator from MSP, uh, managed service providers, which are uh, IT companies that service businesses. For example, they would buy certain software, they buy Microsoft or they buy Secure for the small businesses. So essentially, that's what we're going to integrate with as of late July to start getting B2B partnerships moving forward. This is with a company called Ingram Micro and something, a kind of a partnership of theirs in, in Toronto, a tech company. But Ingram Micro is the largest distributor of hardware and software in the world. So that's a pretty big uh, thing to be exposed to. Um, we basically are also going to push to businesses. Right now, we're waiting until the email application is complete. Uh, we do have business services. Uh, we have a waiting list of people who want to migrate their emails uh, with their business email to us. But really, starting June onward, we're going to push heavily. And lastly, on Q4, we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to improve Secure Suite and release it. That's for enterprise and government, more bigger companies that want to have secure data storage in 
our system as opposed to you know a, a Google or a Microsoft storage for obvious reasons, security being one, privacy being another. Um, and then we hopefully, you know, um, again, big disclaimer here, hopefully by then we'll be uplisted to NASDAQ and approved by the NASDAQ exchange. But again, there's no guarantee. All we can say is we are filing it. You know, I can't uh, guarantee any kind of uh, uplisting in a particular time because I just legally cannot do so. And then next year, we're going to launch uh, in more countries we're going to push more the us we have multiple currency coming up uh, we're going to do australia canada uh, some countries in europe switzerland obviously uk all the english-speaking countries and we're also going to launch our secure identity product that's pretty much it we're traded on the frankfurt exchange under gdt uh, otc qb soon qx under swiss f and on the CSC um, in uh, Canada, the Canadian Securities Exchange. So thanks for listening and um, I'm open for questions. Thank you so much. All right, let's get into some questions here. Uh, Ian Hayes wants to know what is the cost of acquisition? So the, the cost of acquisition is, it varies, you know, we're gonna, at the average is about $100 US right now, because right now what we're doing is we're going direct to the consumer through some influencers. Uh, we do have customers every hour buying the product, so that's a good thing. Um, once we move to the email marketing, we've done some studies. Uh, email marketing in IT services has an open rate of 22.5% and a click-through open of 98 which means that Let's say we send a million email, we're going to have 220,000 of them open. And then within that 9.8%, let's just call it 10%, 22,000 of them are going to click on a link. Now, we are not going to just send to a zillion people. These emails are going to be targeted to industries and people and states in the US that are privacy conscious that don't want to have a big tech, you know, obviously we're thinking about some red states, that's kind of the obvious that comes into mind. And we believe we can bring that cost of acquisition uh, once our emails are tweaked to about $25 per user, which is very cheap because the average revenue per user right now is $15 US per month. So you're looking at about $180 a year on an ARPU, as we say. Uh, but of course, it's going to go up as we release more uh, more expensive services like the voice, et cetera. Daryl Fitzgerald wants to know when you think you'll break even. Uh, well, in um, probably by September, we will have enough operational uh, revenue to break even on GNA and keep the lights on, as we say. Now, marketing is a variable expense and marketing is an investment because if you're going to spend $100,000 to get, let's say, 2,000 um, 2, clients at 50 bucks, let's say, cost of acquisition, uh, then that's an investment. It's not really an operational cost. So we believe that with about 5,800 users that have been recurring, so recurring meaning they've been two months at least in our billing system, uh, we break even. So I'm expecting that by September or maybe sooner, but definitely in September of this year, and after being break even, of course, we're a growth company, so we're going to reinvest, obviously. But after being break even, we should still have about uh, $5 million Canadian in the bank at the very least. And that does not include any uplisting uh, money if, if we're approved by then. Uh, obviously, it comes with a very big financing from investment banks. So that will go towards growing even more the company. But let's say nothing happens. We'll still be in, excel in excellent shape with our cash position and breaking even and moving towards profitability. Great. So Sonia Fernandez says, uh, in some industries like real estate and financial services, for example, they have newly adopted a policy that you can no longer send wire instructions over email. What do you need to do to grab all of these clients in these industries? Uh, that's a great uh, question. But my wife's name is Sonia, too. She's from Serbia, so it's kind of neat. So anyway, so the thing is, we have a deal with Remax. I forgot to mention that. We have a partnership with Remax and uh, it's through a platform called AppDirect. 
It's a cloud marketplace. Right now, Secure Suite is in there, which is expensive. It's 50 bucks a month, and it's just a document management. We are planning in the next uh, three to four months at the latest to integrate Secure with obviously the messaging and the email, et cetera, in the platform. And we already know from Remax that they're very excited to have that. And I think once we have that, which they do market to their 90,000 agents in the US and Canada, I think we're going to see a big uptick because, you know, you can say whatever you want to the agent. But what about the customer? The customer is not from Remax, right? So they use their typical Gmail or Hotmail, and then they send their tax returns to the mortgage broker or the real estate agent or broker who will facilitate all of that. And meanwhile, you know, that whole info is exposed. So you can, it's like the banking industry in Switzerland or anywhere. I just came from New York and I had this talk with some bankers. Bankers are not allowed to use, let's say, WhatsApp because actually, Morgan, actually JP Morgan was fined 200 million last year because they were using these applications. But the customer who's in Brazil, the wealthy person, and wants to talk to you at 7 p.m. when you're outside of your office, they're going to go through WhatsApp or text or their email. So this is a great parallel system where a broker, a banker, uh, a real estate person can say, listen, uh, Mrs. Smith, here, let me send you this email and just use secure reply. Uh, and that way the communication is safe and secure. They can offer secure to their client as part of, hey, you're going to buy a home from me or sell a home or whatever. We want to offer you secure. And that way, whenever you communicate with us, it's guaranteed to be private and secure and whatever. There's many ways we can do. So it's a great question. I know as a fact in the real estate industry with a product like ours and especially the chat and the email part that you can communicate with an outsider without the outsider having to download and buy our product. That was a clear winner for Remax. Great. Um, Florence Cross wants to know, is your service plug and play for, for both Windows and Mac? Yes, yeah, so we're web-based already. So if you use our email, uh, you can, you use, we use IMAP system. Uh, there's nothing to download. It's, it's not something like a software that you have to download for Mac or, or Windows. The only time you need to do that is on the secure suite, which is our document management automatic backup. We have both, but as I mentioned, we want to revise that a little bit and freshen it up in Q4. So right now, if you use secure, which has the email and messaging system, you, we have on iOS and Android both application. We have a web version as well. So if you are really privacy hardcore and you don't want to use iOS or Android, you can go on the web. You can have any browser you want. I believe with Microsoft browsers, uh, I forgot their name because nobody even uses them anymore, but I think it still works there. But if you have Chrome as a browser, it works perfectly fine. It works with any kind of computer. I use a Chromebook myself because it's, uh, I don't have any data stored on my computer whatsoever. I have a, a Google Pixel Chromebook and I have also a Mac, which I'm talking to you from my Mac. I just go on the web and use our system. Very easy to do. Last question. Dolores Perkins wants to know what percentage of your business is corporate versus individuals? Well, right now it's mostly individual because we started with the consumer because that's the hardest customer to get. You kind of break your teeth with the average consumer that has literally zero knowledge of how to use something uh, complex and no patience. So now that we're getting some good success, we released the business product uh, not too long ago. In the consumers, we have some small customers as well. Uh, in America, Mobile, in Latin America, and also in, Sri in Asia and Sri Lanka, they're going to only do to businesses. So we have business users. So I'd say business users are only 10% right now, but that will increase dramatically now that we have the business services as well. Um, I also want to say something before we, we finish up. Um, it just reminded me of the percentage. In terms of percentage of ownership, totally different topic in the company. Our corporate uh, structure is that management owns 30% of the company. I myself, it's all public info, of course, own close to 30%. So I guess we own 35% more or less. But that's a huge thing when management and the CEO owns about a third of the company, has no debt. We really believe in this thing. 
Uh, we participate in all of the rounds. I buy myself in the market many times, which we have to disclose our SETI filing in Canada and all that. So, you know, totally off topic here, but I wanted to mention that management owns a chunk of the company because we truly believe in the future of it. So corporate, 10%. But that's increasing daily now. Once we're going to push heavily to the SMBs in June, I believe that businesses are going to take a bigger share uh, of, of our thing. But I think consumers too. It all depends how, how it grows, right? But I think small businesses are going to be a big part of our offering because they can't afford IT departments and they can't afford to lose their data or have an email that's being hacked because they're the most vulnerable part of the business. You know, the big corporations, they have their own uh, IT departments, but as SMB, a small medium business between 10 to 100 people usually can't afford people on staff at 200 grand a year. That's correct. All right, Elaine, we are finished with time. Um, we've got a lot more questions for you. So please join us again in the future. Um, and we'll send these questions to you so you can answer directly on your own time. But great technology. Thank you for these updates. And please join us again. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, everyone. And go to secure.com if you want to know more, S-E-K-U-R.com. And please send your questions. We'll reply to them all. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. Okay, everyone stay with us. We're gonna to transition to our next presenter. We'll be right back.